we are back with my brother-in-law who is now week 14 after his Achilles rupture. Remember this one is no surgery, so he's been in the boot, he's been out of the boot, he's now doing all his homework very, very diligently. And the Achilles is looking great. Of course, it's thickened, but in a good way. So obviously, you know, this is week 14 down the track. This is his right one, this is normal. This is his left, you can see it's thickened there but it's all intact and strong, he can hold his body weight, that's great. So stretching has advanced this week because we've done two weeks of decent stretching on the floor, he's now trying to do it off a step. Now, of course, he's got a month to try and get stretching on one leg, heel to the ground, okay? So at the moment, what he's trying to do is take the body weight on his good leg, right? Take the body weight here to try and get this foot below the level of the box. So he's got to go below zero degrees dorsiflexion so this heel, if you can try and drop that down for me, is trying to get there to get lengthening here. Now, he doesn't put his full body weight through that because it'd be too much load through the tendon. So we want to try and get a little bit of load through there, but it's taken mostly here. That's why you did it two-legged and it's off the step. All right? Now that's to get enough range so then he can progress in two weeks' time to do eccentric calf raises off a step. At the moment, he's just doing the eccentric calf raises on the floor, and I'll come to that in a minute. But that's his new advance of the stretching. He's also going to advance his sole air stretching. So we do that on a step or a chair like this. So if you come over here, he puts his injured leg up on that, and what he's trying to do is keep his heel on the ground and go for as much dorsiflexion range as possible. So he's going to use a bit of weight, a bit of lunge to try and stretch this out. So again, these are long, static, one to two minute stretches, right? But he's got to stay below pain, of course. Well, a three out of 10, he's got to stay below. So he's stimulating stretching through here, but he's not blowing it out and going too far. So that's the two sort of advanced stretches he's got to do. If we look at his calf raises, um, of course they, at week 14, are not on a step. He's trying to do an eccentric raise, so up on two, down on one, when at the moment he has not got enough strength to lift this. So he can't eccentrically load 100% on his left leg. Now that's normal for week 14. So if you're like this, it's normal for you not be able to lift that leg up and lower down here. What he's trying to do is go from 50-50, so if you go up for me, there's 50-50, to try and do maybe 75% here, 25%. Is that how much it is? Do you reckon? Yeah. that? So think of like, okay, you've got two weeks, if you can, maybe it might have to be four, to try and go up on two and then 100% on the right. And if every time you do that, go again for me, every time he's thinking, I want to put more than 75 on that and less than 25% that, they'll get there. Okay, so there's an idea that you've got to keep going, 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 pushing within your limits to try and get more load through here, which builds the strength through the calf, through the Achilles over time. The key thing about this is over time. It's got to be slow, progressive, consistent, every second day or every day trying to work on this stuff. So that's your calf raise. The other one he's doing is a solid air raise. So it's a little bit trickier because you have to work a bit of brain on this one. But if he bends his knees first, then goes up on his toes, he's gonna to work more solid air than he's gonna work gastroc. And then he's gotta try and do the same thing. So he goes from two feet, bent knees, and then tries to do the 75% on that leg. Okay, which is a lot harder here. You've got less power from the calf, so it's more demanding through the sides, but it's pretty much the Achilles is gonna do the same sort of job. Again, he's gonna be further into range, so it's a little bit harder. He's just gotta be careful with this one. But definitely something you can start at week 14. The other thing we're gonna try on is things like heel raises, uh, sorry, tibialis anterior raises. Now, the interesting thing about this one is I'll show you his previous injury. Come over the wall here for me. Is He's trying to stand against a wall and lift both toes up. Now, you notice one isn't coming up. This is his Achilles injured side, okay? So we're working on tibialis anterior, and what that does is a reciprocal innovation of the calf at the back, okay? So the calf has to let go to do this movement. So he's teaching himself a bit of strengthening through here because he's lost a bit of strength just in general because he's been in a boot. So it's not just the Achilles and the calf from, it's also this. So he's doing that and that passive relaxes the Achilles in the back which gives him that length and that range of movement. You noticed he can't do it on his right and that's because he's had a perineal nerve sever through this one through an old injury and he's lost, as you can see there's losses of bulk there. 
but surprisingly, he's still been able to play soccer before he did this injury, so he's doing really well. But normally, this would be two feet up. Now, along with all the strengthening and the mobility for his ankle, we're also working on the stability component. So the two major things he's working on is single leg balance. Now, he's going to have to really make sure he's got something to grab on. At this stage, he's just entering in from standing on the floor, which was last week, to then standing on something that's wobbly, like a BOSU or a wobble board. Now, BOSUs are a little bit kinder than wobble boards. Wobbles are a lot wobblier, and I suggest you start on something like this. If you haven't got one of these, you can make it up by maybe putting a sort of hard pillow on a piece of board or something that is giving you a little bit of wobble, but it's got a flat surface, which challenges them through that. Now, it's not just about him weight bearing on his on that leg and strength his Achilles. He's got to work on his tibialis posterior, he's got to work on his perineus because all those muscles have been in the boot as well and they're weak and they support the ankle. They also control what the ankle is doing so they help out the Achilles when you are walking and running. So you need to get this back and this is extremely important I think something that is completely forgotten with Achilles and is only focused on if you've had an ankle sprain but something that he needs to work on quite a lot and that'd be like a minute trying to hold as he gets better, he's going to try and take those hands away. But again, being very careful with that, making sure that he doesn't fall off the bow or anything like that. Making sure that he just spends a bit of time getting used to that movement pattern. Also helps him with an old knee injury as well. So that's that one. The second thing I want him doing is what we call a star excursion test. Now this is usually reserved for knee rehab, return to sport testing, but we use it for stability of the ankle. So what he's going to do is stand on this square here. Now, at home, you can use your kitchen tiles if you want, or you can draw a star on the floor, whatever suits. But at this point, he's gonna stand on one leg, and remember, this is the Achilles one, and he's gonna reach forward and tap the floor, but still wait there through here. And then he's gonna step backwards and tap the floor. Now, you can see how hard he's working when he does that. And he's gonna come up, and he's gonna go left or right and tap there, and he's gonna come over this side behind him, and then he's going to go backwards on a diagonal and then backwards on that diagonal. And the whole time, he's working this continuously, which is what we want. He's working on a bit of knee stability, a bit of hip stability, a bit of ankle stability. The whole thing is helping out what his Achilles is doing. And it's part of that strengthening package. So that's just a few things he's doing. He's also doing bodyweight squats, light deadlifts, very small lunges, one leg of step downs, one leg of ball squats all on another day. This is just the ankle and Achilles rehab phase. So we'll see him in about four weeks.